the consistently better performance seen by teams in various sporting contexts when playing at home is known as the home advantage. This advantage is well documented in a wide range of team sports, including association football or soccer. Some authors point out that the advantage of playing at home is more pronounced in indoor sports such as ice hockey and basketball and less pronounced in outdoor sports such as baseball and soccer. However, other researchers point to professional football as the sport where the local advantage is bigger. The objective of this research was to analyze the difference of wins, points, and goals both at home and away depending on the presence or absence of a crowd and other possible covariates such as budget or average attendance at the stadium in times post-COVID. Method Eight European leagues were analyzed whose final matches of the 2019-2020 to season were played without an audience. These included the German Bundesliga in the first and second divisions, the Austrian Bundesliga, the Spanish La Liga Santander and La Liga Smartbank, first and second divisions in Spanish professional football, the Italian in both categories, Serie A and B, and the English Premier League. As it was the same season and not a new one, each league continued to be made up of the same teams, without changing their squads and their objectives remained the same as when they stopped playing with the public. This happened at the beginning of March 2020, with a two-month break approximately, and resumed at the end of May and beginning of June in these countries, with some exceptions. Among the different leagues in this situation, those with a high percentage of matches played behind closed doors were selected in order to have a wide sample at a general level and to study the differences between teams and the field factor. At the same time, teams with different levels and of different nationalities are taken into consideration in order to compare possible similarities and differences. We created a table at the end of each competition containing technical data, name of the league, team, match day, and date, those regarding the dependent variables, goals, points, position in the ranking and independent ones, public with and without and field, home and away. In addition, we added covariates that could be related to the quality of the team and that could explain the number of points obtained. These factors are the average attendance to the stadium, the performance of each stadium, the budget or value of the team at the end of the season, the number of foreigners per team, the percentage of players lined up in the total number of games of each team, the average experience of the players, the experience of the youth players or players taken from the academy of the club itself, number of games with the first team, and finally, the fairness, yellow cards plus red. The main highlight is the equality in points among the various leagues but with slight differences in the number of goals. Another highlight is the big difference in attendance and performance ranging from 40,000 spectators and a performance of 96.8% in the Italian Premier League to almost 6,000 in Serie B with a performance of 42.7%. All this makes it possible to speak of stronger, stronger leagues and more humble ones. Although the budget could be the main indicator, the rest of the characteristics should be taken into account in order to understand the possible differences. Results We show the correlation of these aspects with the points, with and without audience and at home and abroad, to have an approximate orientation of the behavior of each competition, where it is observed that not all of them respond in the same way. With this point clarified, the relationships between the results, win, draw and defeat, points and the field and audience factors are shown. As can be seen, there are no significant differences with respect to the results and the audience, but there are with respect to the points obtained. Therefore, it will be necessary to take into account both aspects and not just one in order to be able to go deeper into what happened, as well as to further evaluate the trends shown by the statistics and not just focus on most significant data. Generally speaking, there are more wins at home than losses, except in the Austrian league where there are almost as many wins as losses on home soil. However, when matches are played without an audience, the situation changes in the cases of the German Bundesliga and La Liga first division, with fewer points at home and more away. There are no significant differences in the other competitions, although there is a trend towards this result in the cases of the Austrian and Italian Serie B leagues. These data are striking enough to determine that in most cases analyzed the audience factor can be detached from playing in one or another field. 
Since it was traditionally played with an audience, it was difficult to know if the home advantage was due to social facilitation or other reasons. However, the new data about playing without spectators do not allow to confirm the hypotheses raised in their totality, because although it has been found that the audience influence influences the home advantage in some competitions, it can do so for either good or bad. It would be necessary to offer more detailed analysis and to investigate other covariates that can explain the contradiction with what the proposed theories raise. The focus therefore should be on points and goals scored per game. As the table shows, the only significant difference found is that fewer home goals have been scored in the Austrian league without an audience. Moreover, the trend in the Bundesliga and La Liga Santander is for fewer points and goals to be scored at home without spectators, while in the case of the Italian Serie B it is for more goals to be scored at this juncture. Finally, it is striking that there is no difference in the number of goals conceded, suggesting that the reduction in points at home in the absence of spectators is mainly due to the lower number of goals scored by the home team rather than by the opposition, and although the goals conceded are almost the same, this fact is sufficiently decisive to ensure that clubs playing abroad benefit to the detriment of the home team. Thus, the hypothesis that without an audience the home advantage is reduced and foreign teams are favoured cannot be fully confirmed, but it is possible to speak of a trend towards this, namely in the German, Spanish and Austrian top leagues. Given these results, it is pertinent to take into account the rest of the variables and their relationship with the field and public factors. In the following tables, the corresponding data can be seen, where only the meanings lower than 0.5 have been pointed out and not the approximate ones to this figure, since the analyzed matches without the public depending on the field are considered scarce enough to show possible trends. As can be seen, correlations are only found in two competitions. On one hand, we can observe in the Italian Serie B in a similar way that playing at home and with spectators has benefited the best teams, related to the high budget, attendance, foreigners, etc. It is worth mentioning that none of these variables correlates with the points, which indicates a very balanced league where the best or worst classified teams are not determined by the budget and other aspects, but that nevertheless, the influence of the local public has turned out to be a relevant factor in the performance of the players according to these characteristics. On the other hand, in the Austrian league, significant differences can be observed more in the opposite field, where the clubs with fewer points have played worse with spectators than without. In other words, these teams seem to be more affected by the presence of the public on the opponent's pitch, 